Welcome to Oregon Voters Digest, the program that brings forward the social and political issues that are important to people living here in the Pacific Northwest. And now, your host, Bruce Broussard. Welcome again to this segment of the Oregon Voters Digest. Folks, I tell you what, boy, we're getting about halfway mark here. We, I, get, I think it's the mile run or something like that. We're about halfway, boy, and things are getting really tough nowadays, boy. People are just jockeying around and this, that, and the other and whatever. And I'm, ta- right up front, I'm talking about politics right now. I mean, things are really rearing up. We're rearing up. We're, and, you know, this is just the primary. I haven't even introduced the show yet. Again, no. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm Bruce Bouchard, uh, Oregon Voters Digest, and uh, and I got here with me another Oregon Voters Digest, Bob Williams. You know Bob. You've been seeing Bob here for a minute. But again, uh, we're gonna get we're gonna give you some updates on from a national perspective, and then we're gonna get the local perspective. He already knows I'm running for mayor, so he knows where I'm gonna be coming from. But 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 from the national perspective, I think it's a very timely thing right now that we kind of put things in perspective. I think it's going to be a great show. So thanks for being with us, and um, we'll go forward from there. Bob, how you doing? I'm doing great, Bruce. Um, Beginning to feel this age. I I woke up the other other day and uh, attempted to get out of bed, and the back wouldn't work. Wow, wow. wow. (laughs) I'm like, wait a minute. (laughs) Well, as you see, I'm sort of in the same ball game. (laughs) But for some strange reason, here we are running for office. Uh, you know? No, here you <laughs> are no, running for no, office. No, no, you are too. They, they <laughs> keep it. No, They've it, been calling a, me. I know, you that, know. I know that. I know that. So, well, look, I tell you what. Why don't we? Why don't we maybe talk a bit about oh. the national race at this point in time? We'll spend the first thirty minutes talking about the national and seeing okay. what that's all about because because you've got good you've got good insight. We've been doing this for years oh, yeah. and talking about both sides of the deal because at the end of the day, it's about the issues and the solutions of the issues. There are and, issues in this race. And, and, and there's some big issues. There's some big issues. <laughs> and after we have folks, and then we've had parties. We've got different parties. We've got oh, independents. Yeah. We've got libertarians. We've got Republicans. The two major ones are Republicans and the Democrats aspect of it. But when you get when we get into the general election, it's nonpartisan. Yeah. It's the issue. The issue is the, is the game. And well, if you happen to be, if, 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 whoever who you are in terms of who you represent, the bottom line is that the person who will get elected is going to be the one that's going to address the issues that we have with the solutions. Fair? That's the way it's supposed to work. Well, I know that. I'm just throwing that out. <laughs> but, but, but as you say, but since we're at this age factor right now, yeah. we just get right down to the business. we got to share with them, right? I hear you. Sort of educate them about what we need to do right. and what we need to and, and how we need to address it. So it's very, very important. Right. And um, I'll just throw it out. In fact, we can just throw them out together for that matter. You know, once jobs is a major, major issue. What's another one? Yeah. Jobs. We need people need to work. Yes. Uh, number. Uh, well, What's for me, one? for me, in order to get a good job, mm-hmm. you need a good education. There you go. There you go. There you go. And uh, you know, like I've said before, uh, education is the key. Yep. And if we're not educating our kids, and we're beginning to just dis- just. Dis- uh, determine where our kids should be based on where they live, right, right. we have a problem. Right, 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 right. You know. well, in fact, let's jump right on that particular note. And, and as you know, uh, we, we're both, we, 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 we're at this point in our life aspect of it, but what a degree meant back then hmm. and what it meant today yes. is a horse of another color because right. of the fact we've got some major issues in our country, many of the, i.e., we don't have as many employers willing to build a factory to hire anybody. You got me? Out of that, the, the, the concept is that it's either overseas or whatever, and they're not here. Right. I mean, and that's, that's, that's our capitalistic society. You know, it's all about the dollar. Right. And that's just the way it is. Well, people have a tendency to think that, uh, let's say, a Bernie yep. as a socialist, and thinking about everybody should have. Yep. And you can't do that in a capitalist no. society. Capitalism is about I get my beads and you yeah. get your beads, yes, right. and then we we come and look at each other, and if you have more than me, I'm going to work over right. here a little harder right. to take, get some of yours. That's right, that's right. You that's know, right. and so that's, that's right. the capitalist idea, but we're not teaching our kids no, that in no, school. No, no, You well, know, and so that's why so many of them are failing yeah. at the things that they are doing or getting discouraged, yeah. and for our black kids, they're going to gang members, yeah. becoming a gang yeah. member, yeah. because the choice of jail, death, don't mean it. Yeah. Don't mean anything yeah. to them because they don't see anybody no, yeah, with anything yeah, yeah. that can that's that's keeping it. Well, you know, on that particular point that you were making, when you think about it, just here locally, as here in the state of Oregon, mm-hmm. we've got the largest school district in the state. 
Yeah, Portland public right there in Portland public And no voc ed. I mean, you got a lot of background on, on labor and this, that, and the other. Trades. Yeah. I mean, jobs are just sitting, waiting to be had, if you will. And yet and still, here we got an education system. We, 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 we try to put that together. I mean, we have folks that have retired, mm -hmm. ready to be instructors. Right. And, and are in need of the criteria for the, uh, the, the IE for structures and a structure, for that matter, has changed somewhat because... When you when you run for when you when you get your print go through apprenticeship or whatever and get get your card if you will and go to the union to like a laborers aspect mm -hmm. of it the, the bottom line it's not like it used to be where seniors at the top is based on a lot, a lot of those tools and all the other <laughs> stuff you got you know you got the the the, 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 the developer or whatever yeah. owner will basically say well okay fine I'm getting ready to build this building and I'm gonna need this 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 that and the other yeah. and depending upon where you are on the on the line if you got that trade. Mm -hmm. You go to the top, right? But so my point: things have changed, right? It's, it have changed. It's changed uh, immensely, as yes. you say. Uh, it's it's three things that I see happening, not only in the trades but are out there. Yeah, it's who you know. Yeah, it's who you know, and then again, it's who, who you, you know. know. That's right. That's right. And if you don't know anyone and you walk in, you better be um, uh, able to impress someone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because if you can't, you're not going to get the job. Mm -hmm. And before it used to be, well, let's see what type of education they yeah. have. Now, it's not a, it's not about the yeah. education. Yeah. It's about uh, who can you, uh, as they say, blow smoke yeah. <laughs> you know, until they find out that you can't. You know, it's a, it's a shame. Yeah. And and we want to know why we're failing. Yeah. 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 You know, but then again, you know, I look at, at us as black people, and I say one thing, when we elect people, we can't turn our back and just assume that they're going to do things that will help us. Yeah. Because that's not, the, that's not the makeup of this country. Yeah. Yeah. The makeup of this country is simple. I tell you what I will do, and then you say yes to me, I get it, and then I don't do anything unless you come Again, mm -hmm. if you walk away and just expect me to do it, it'll never get done. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they, our politicians are like our children. Clean your room. What do you have to do an hour later? <laughs> Clean your room. <laughs> and that's the way our politicians yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. They're not cleaning the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and so it's, it's I know I'm kind of jumping all over. No, 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 it's fine. It's but, fine. It's just, know, just, that's it's, what we need to talk about. It's uh, when it comes to our unions, you know. I'm trying to figure out where are they going mm -hmm. because are they growing? I don't see them growing. I see them uh, slowly uh, being diminished. Mm -hmm. I mean, I look, uh, when I first started as a union rep, we had a contract with some major employers in the, in the state of Oregon mm -hmm. where a person came to work 30 days later. They had a pension plan that was being paid into and they had medical care mm -hmm. today. That same union, the person comes to work, they have to work for a year. Before they can even get to that. Before they get it. This is ridiculous. Are you telling me that I'm going to put my family and, their, and my health on hold for a year? Oh, I can't, I, I can't afford to pay it because I'm the lowest paid employee because of seniority and time on the job. But I don't get any medical coverage. I don't get any, uh, nothing's going into my pension plan. So I lose a year. So the unions want to know why they're they're, they're beginning to move backwards. It's little things like that. Well, you, you know, know, on that same note, on, on the employer's argument on the other side of the coin is that, hey, I got paperwork, I got money, I got to come out of pocket. My point is that he's looking at his back bottom line too. Everybody's looking at the bottom sure. line aspect of it. So so we're in a crisis. So we need leadership. That's what we need. We need leadership. And 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 all due respect, and then jumping right into the candidate from a national perspective. The, the, the ones that are, are very pr uh, pronounced right now are uh, basically on the R side and the D side. Mm -hmm. I mean, they got other individuals that are oh, running sure. for president as far as the leadership aspect of it. But we got, and, then, and, and really, we got clearly, we got four two. individuals. We got two on each side, mm -hmm. right? We got Hillary on one side, Hillary and, and Bernie mm -hmm. on one side, basically under the D side, so to right. speak. And then we got, we got Donald Trump and Ted Cruz mm -hmm. on the R side aspect of it. And so now you ask yourself the point is that. When you look at jobs, just jobs per se, and I'm just looking at just all four of them. Mm -hmm. When I look at all four of them, I, I think about, well, who 
relates to the job per se. Okay. Well, in all due respect, clearly Trump because he's built something. Let's put it. He's built something. I'm just saying now. The okay. Other, that, that's, I'm just looking at it. Just, sure. When somebody's built something. Now there's some other things. You know what I mean? But my point is that he's built something. And the reason why I'm throwing that out to you is that uh, throwing it out on the table. We are looking for jobs. So you can try to figure out, well, now he does have that background. He's been involved in these jobs. He's made it happen. You know what I'm saying? And 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 so then I look at the other three. They, they got skills, too, mm-hmm. in each of their own individual aspect of it. But jobs is a major, major, major issue. Now, when it comes to, when I think about this deal, when it comes to, quote, how does he, how does he communicate that mm-hmm. to the electorate, then guess what? It take the, the the focus is not on jobs, and the focus is not on these other things that he's not a, he's yeah. not into. That's mm-hmm. not what he does. You got me. And so, guess what? You get in trouble right. on that end of it. See, and then the the people. So the other component that to me I think is very very important to this whole scenario is the whole media. The media. Yeah. Do they understand what the issues are? Well, the thing is, the media don't care. To me, okay, go on. The media don't care about mm-hmm. the issues. Mm-hmm. They care about you watching their show. Mm-hmm. Selling and, ads. And, selling and, ads. Oh, hey, I'm selling. Look at look at the commercials That's I'm right. selling. That's right. Selling ads. You know, they're about making money. That's right. They are the true, yeah. the true capitalists in this society. But who owns the media? Yeah. <laughs> you All those other rich people. See, so, so, real, so realistically, so, so realistically, the rich is making more money. Yeah, right, right. It's 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 it's, 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 it's Now, when you think about the media, when from a national perspective, you always look at CNN. Mm-hmm. And Fox, you got me. But realistically, the one that said one one represents the R Republican, the other one represents the Democrat. But in reality, it's all in one. Right. <laughs> you understand? You understand? No, what I mean? understand because, it because perfectly. Because it's showbiz and it's this, that, and the other. But it's still about ads, right. if you will. So where are the issues? So the key is that the people who are asking the questions, what are their background? First off, what's that party? Mm. You understand? What yeah. I'm See, it's just kind of like a normal deal from the standpoint of say, well, if you if you're an R, you're working for CNN. CNN, you got to be a Republican. MSN, you MSNBC. Be, yeah, but if you yeah. go to the other side, you got to be a D. You know yeah. the point? But when it comes down to the end of it, I want to know who's asking the questions and what are their background. Well, and what the, have they done? The thing is, the questions that they ask is not germane to what you and I exactly. want. That's right. It's what will get me more press. And will get me more viewers to more look viewers at my to ad. watch what I. That's yes. right. That. And if it's a controversy, yep. oh, America has become so tabloid. Oh man, our mentality is three seconds long. Wow. You know that's about uh, you know if you can't keep my interest for that five minutes, yeah. that's why they have commercials, <laughs> as as so many commercials. You people don't realize that a thirty minute show is only twenty two minutes. That's eight minutes of commercials, yeah. and they put them in a place where they're two minutes yeah. each so they can break this thing up because your attention span is not long enough to maintain. You know, that's a shame. Yeah. When yeah. did we get to that point where we are so bad off that we don't, we are willing to give up our own self interest yeah. in order for a tabloid for 15 seconds of fame? That's, that's shameful. Oh, that Bobby, that and yeah. you talk politics. Oh. You yeah. know, the average person on the street right now, they don't, know. They don't, they don't know. have a clue. They all they, all, you know, I, like I say to my son online all the time, if someone is on my web, on my uh, uh, Facebook page, and my son, who is a staunch Republican, yeah, yeah, right, okay, okay, that parrots everything that comes out. That's all he does is he's a parrot, and I call him that, and I says, you grew up in a democratic society that said people, not things. But people and you are more interested in things than people, and you're more self-centered than society-centered. I said, "Where did I lose you, my man?" I, but I'm talking to him over the last two years. He's beginning to understand and see because he ended up working for a company that didn't have that didn't have medical insurance, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden he's beginning to see. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. that, that some of the things that I've been telling him and he's questioning some things, mm-hmm. but he still hasn't really, as they say, walked across the bridge, mm-hmm. but he's at the at, at that point. I'm, I'm and, s- and I don't know how we're losing our young people to things rather than community. It's called common sense. 
Uh, oh, we don't. No, nah, we don't even want to go there because the, the you know the, my minister preached on that today. You know our kids and the common sense versus versus. Uh, you turn know, on the turn on the switch. Yeah. I mean, instant gratification rather yes. than long-term gain. Exactly, exactly. And exactly. everybody's into instant gratification. Exactly. Well, then you, you say it a lot, you know, from the standpoint of um, where are the issues? You know, it's like you said, you know, people are really into the elections now. It was, mm -hmm. It's like a, a light switch, mm -hmm. turning on light. All of a sudden, there it is. And by the way, this is, this is, these are the issues. Mm -hmm. You have no, you have no idea. You have no background in terms of what's going on. And what we're gonna do? We're just gonna have a showbiz now. We're just gonna have a showbiz. Yeah, let's we put just on go show. back, We go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But the issues are still there. Where are the jobs? The, when are they gonna talk about the jobs? Jobs for who? Well, if you talk in, now, here food. we go. If you talk inner city jobs, then you're talking about black people and people of color. And all of a sudden, you got the people in the suburbs and the surrounding areas that's a little upset because now you're trying to give them the job. But guess what, though? Things have changed now lately. A lot of white folks are in the same boat, man. Well, I know that, <laughs> but but they don't want to admit it. Huh? Just, they don't want to admit it. That's just it's well, like I it's like admit if I'm the majority, if I if yeah, I, if I, got I ain't switch, got no problem. I'm not, I'm not going to admit the fact that you know if, if I'm I'm if down I'm there this, with you. Uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> and I agree with you, oh, Bruce. No, no, you know, I Amen. mean, how do we get the public to understand that it's not about color? That's right. It's about deeds. That's right. Well, check this out. And it's a good point you made that point because uh, just today, all of a sudden, here's the news. Remember the Willie Horton piece? Oh, yeah. Remember that one? The black face has yeah. that other? Here comes Cruz now. The black face, right? <laughs> Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. He's telling Donald Trump that, hey, look here, you're going to. You know, you're gonna you you you're being endorsed by a rapist. I mean, i.e. the Willie Harden piece. Mm -hmm. Putting the black thing in there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Desperation. Are they are they are uh, selecting a female from California <laughs> to be the vice president at this point in time, thinking he's gonna be able to pull up more votes and pick up the numbers in California has right. I mean I mean I'm concerned about that piece because now all of a sudden I, I think I've made my choice now. I mean I can only vote on once a usually you're in the same boat. You got one side you got the you can right. vote for and I got one side to vote for. Well I, hey, I I I just don't think we can use a debater. No. I, I can't I can't I can't support a debater and, no. and and so my choice is Trump right up front with it because the jobs. Now mm -hmm. all this other paraphernalia that comes with it you know, this, that, and the other, and the abortion, the women. Uh, uh, no, no, I'm interested in the jobs. I mean, if I it, don't see him developing any jobs. No, 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 he's already done it. Where? No, in terms of what his background. I'm just talking about well, he built this, he built things, mm -hmm. he hired folks. That's what I'm right. saying now. He's got that. When I look at the other person, he was just a debater. But uh, have you looked at Trump as far as when he, let's just take one issue, the hotel in New, in New York. When he built, uh, he built now, this now, what big you hotel. What you said, you said the word built. Now that yeah. I, I'm stopping. There. Okay, right there. I'm stopping. But right here's there. what happened: the workers didn't get paid. Well, no, no, wait a minute. Now let's let's talk no, no. about. Is, let, it, is that all go, of his jobs? Huh? That's not. I don't know about all no, of I them, said, but I know about that one. Okay, you know that one. Yeah. And I've been in the business before. Yeah. Okay. I've lost money and I've made money. Right. Okay. But in the building aspect of it, I mean, you got the you got all these subs and this, that, and other. You know, you you lose one and then all of a sudden you got a margin right here and this, that, and other. My point is, it's a volatile business aspect of it. Oh yeah. And I'm just saying, I'm just looking at it from the standpoint of what he's. Well, is he trustworthy? It, 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 well, that part, that, that part of it, <laughs> I can't have him running my country if he's not my business no, no, if he's not trustworthy. But don't, and I don't think he's trustworthy. No, but don't lose. No. I think he'll sell you out. No, but the three people. No, but the three. <laughs> but my point is that the four people who are running for president. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about these and R. Okay. He's the only one of the four that has created jobs. Well, no, no, that's built. Now don't that's get me been wrong. in a position. To to create jobs. No, he, the others have not. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. So we we we're gonna go we're gonna go around the room because mm -hmm. there's some other issues that are on the table, like okay. the social issues and this, that, and other. Uh -huh. Then we gotta figure out who can deal with that piece. You yeah. know what I mean? We're gonna get to each one of them. But all I'm saying is that what <coughs> are the issues of the day? We did say jobs. Now that's one. That's one. Okay. Now now when it comes to when when it comes to the uh, the social issue aspect of it, who of the three uh, of the four? You figure that, that that tends to come out talking to the issues. Well, in most cases, that, that's where. 
That's uh, Bernie's issues is the social issue. Yeah, but the ones who has you basically uh, been a part of the social issue was well, the Clintons. That, well, that would be the Clintons. It was Bill. See? Right. It was Bill, and then she was there. You mm -hmm. got me? And so she's responding in terms of her background from the standpoint of knowing, if you will, all of the issues as it relates to that social part, i.e. blacks and this, that, and the other. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's one aspect of it, too. So now the others... Don't hit. I'm, I'm just kind of sure. pairing it off. You see, sure. what I mean? there's a social one, right? Then you got the builder aspect mm -hmm. of it, because that's that's a big issue right now. Because just like you were saying, with the youth and the kids and things of that nature, right. uh, education that's a huge, huge piece. You got me, and and then our future is going to be dependent upon making sure that that, that the baby boomers' kids, mm -hmm. kids, got me, get educated. Right. Otherwise, we won't be sitting down here like we are. No, we won't. We're trying to figure out where, where we're going to be living. <laughs> we'll be gentrified overnight. Mm -hmm. Right. Got me. So we got those two. So now we got Hillary, mm -hmm. and you got Trump. Donald. Yeah. And then you got next. You got Bernie, who's got. Uh, I, I mean, I have I have my he, ideas about his definition. Now, where is his? Where where does his fit? Now, he's a socialist, right? Yeah. He want to give everybody something. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you know. And this and society, that, that's not in this society. Uh, but but he's excited. My point is that he's excited this this giveaway situation. Yeah. Because of the two entities that have. The, 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 those other issues, if you will, as you say, the selling the ads type deal. Right. Because if you if you can't talk about the uh, the the server on one side over here, or, or if you can't talk about uh, uh, Donald talking about the women, right? Because he he gets in trouble. <laughs> but my point, that's not what he does. Right. You see, and the same thing here. Now, so then we start saying, okay, fine, we got, but we can't do this. We can't do the giveaway piece. Mm -hmm. And then and then we let's see, we got that, we got that. And then we got Ted, you know, he, 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 that, that's not where he's at. Separation. Separation. So realistically, Separation. at the end of the day, you've got the presidential candidates mm -hmm. are two people. Right. Both things, right? Mm -hmm. So what's going to, the merger, if you will, the merger is that somewhere, somewhere, you have to, you have to marry both the jobs and the social issues. Those are the two main issues. Right. You got me? Right. So the key is that, now how do we do it? Now, the easiest way to do it, we can maybe do, it's a four-year term deal, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll let, we'll let one be president for two years and the other one be two. <laughs> <laughs> and then whoever, whichever one come we, out the best, see, they get the other four. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> you understand? Maybe. Yeah. As long as they, they deliver, see? But the bottom line, we do need the job, right? We need the jobs. And I can see Donald beating up, making some deals. Well, but we don't have the jobs like overnight. But see, right? see, that's not the president. To me, that's not the president's job. Which one? To make sure you have a job. That's not the president's job. I have to Somebody have has given him, they have, they have put something on the president that shouldn't be there. No, no. Congress make law. And when Congress pass a law that says you can take your company over here to another country and you can bring the product that you make over there back over here free, you know why? Because you have a building over here that has 10 people or more in it. And that's called your headquarters. That's crap. If you build it over there and you're going to bring it over here, you pay the tariff to bring it over here just like anybody else. And who are you paying the tariff to? To, uh, to the government. Just like, and oh, that goes, you, wait a minute. You said and that goes word. to help, I thought the and that goes to help the people of this country. The government don't make money. They take money. And when they take it, they give it to, give it to different, put it in different buckets and pass it out. Well, now, so now you do see, understand we what government stop. is. You know what government is. We got to stop. Uh, have you forgotten that Hold, other people buy the people and for the people? And that's for the people. Okay, all right, all right. All so right. if you're going to build it over there, pay to bring it over here. Now wait a minute. And, Let's and, think about that. Let's think about that. Let's think about that. We hear this piece about i.e. is the government's. Uh, we, we know it's being built over there mm -hmm. and over here. Mm -hmm. Who do you think the middleman is? The middleman. Yeah, is a business person here. Yeah. Right, you understand what I'm saying? Sure. So basically, they put the deal together. Well, they help. Yeah, no, but, but you, you understand, but then yeah. someone had to put the, put the deal together. You got my point? Oh, yeah. So, I mean, they go where the cheapest labor is. Right. We do. Uh, no, uh, so, who, who's, so, leaving, who's leaving this country now? It's a, a one major company, and I, God, I started talking about it in, in this old Carrier, Carrier is, is the air conditioner. They're, conditioning. Leave, they're, they're the leaving air. the country yeah. to go take their product to build, build, the build offshore. Yeah. And I'm like, well, then sell it over there. If you're going to build it in Taiwan, let's see you sell it in Taiwan. Yeah, but, but, guess, but, but my point is that 
who made the, the Taiwanese didn't make the deal. No. We made the deal. Hey, I'm not blaming the, uh, the, yeah. the people of Taiwan. See, we made the I'm deal. Not, I'm not blaming and them. Bob, and, and as you say, we, we're a capitalistic society, right? So it's all about the bottom line. And you line. know what the American people follow need to do? The you know what the American yes, people right, need to right. do? It's a real simple way to stop these how, com how companies from, from how, doing how, that. How do you do it? Leave it on the shelf. Leave it on the shelf. Then how am I going to eat? Uh, there's more stuff out there to no, eat no, no, than what, that. What, what, but what if that person does the same thing? What happens then? Then all of a sudden you build, you grow your own. Well, then guess what? Then I guess Bernie comes to the table. Uh, He's a socialist, remember? Well, no. Everybody's going to be working together. We're just going to be fantastic. Well, I'm, what I'm, no, what I'm We're saying gonna share is our you food. know and I We're know. We're going to share my food. You, you can't share mine. Hold it. You I know. Mean, you ain't going to get mine. Bruce, you know and I know that everybody's not going to go, as they say, lock horns and walk in the goose step together. That's not going to happen. Really? It's going to be, because this is America, it's going to be that company that say, hey, but that's not Bruce, what Bernie Bruce said. left. But that's not what Bernie uh, said. Bob left. Yeah, but, hey, I'm still here. Yeah, but what about, I'm going to make more money. But what about Bernie's <laughs> crowd? What about I, know, I agree with you. Don't buy theirs because I'm improving mine. Okay, okay. You know that's that. You know that word, new and improved. Remember that was okay, okay, when we okay, were okay. growing up. Everything was new and improved. Okay. Well, let's go, let's go back to that original piece <laughs> about the whole idea. We we've agreed then that we've got we've got two presidents. We got Hillary and we got Trump. That's it. Right up front with it. We got the social side on one aspect of it, and we got the we got the jobbers on this end of it. Some way, shape, or form, we got to come up with someone. Yeah, hopefully, and then you go merge, you go marry them together. Well, well the way it's going to happen, you know, you, you, you see, you don't you don't forget Bill now. You know, you got Bill sitting over yeah. here still. See, Bill putting deals together too. I can see him oh, kind yeah. of like saying, "Well, look, I think I can get some jobs." I'd here. rather have have uh, Hillary and Bill working to put jobs and and care together for the people than Trump putting jobs and stuff together for his future, because he's a businessman, and rest assured, it's not about the. Now yeah. he has, now he hasn't built anything now. Huh? He hasn't. Bill hasn't built anything. Who Bill? Yeah. Uh, Bill know the people that do. No, 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 no. and I, I, know I, how to work. No, the it's contract. not a no. He hasn't built anything. Well, neither has Trump. Technically, uh, uh, no. he's the man in the room with the money. Uh, know how to get the money from somewhere, but he hasn't built anything. No. He got people around him with the expertise, no, just yeah. like the rest of them no, can no, get. That's, that's a developer. I mean, that's a, that's a bona fide piece of business. I mean, that's how he makes his money. There's no developer over here. <laughs> oh, you know, he's a deal maker. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, that's him. right. He's a deal maker. That's... But he's a developer deal maker. Okay. That's, I'm, I'm just but everything him. in America is does not need a developer deal maker. But today we do. Why? We need the job, Bob. But, we got to eat. But that's, right that's now one we don't segment. have anything. That's one segment of this uh, this country. But we've agreed. This country is a no, melting pot. No, but guess what? Not only of people, but, but of, people, of, of business. The, but the people right now... Can't, ain't working. They're not, they're not eating. They're not, they need a job. No, they need a higher paying job. Now, that's a totally different thing. Slaves had a job. Huh? Slaves had a job. Now, we need people that's going to have a job that pay. That's a different story. And that's not Trump. That's not Trump. That's not Trump. So he didn't pay anybody. He had slaves. Uh, no, he, he, he tries everything he can to get out of paying. Yeah. Paying a higher price, paying a living wage. But they weren't slaves. Huh? They weren't slaves. Now, see, I'm just saying, I was using them as a, <laughs> no, as but I'm a just saying, narrative uh, of my conversation. Well, well, I don't know, but a slave slave, says, you talk yeah. about jobs, yeah, and I'm yeah. saying, well, the, slaves, the people in America don't, don't want a job. They want a good paying job. And all that comes together because, as I said, slaves had a job. It, it, so that's not what you want. But see, you want a good paying job. Okay, so Bernie is kind of, where, where does Bernie No, Bernie, uh, Bernie ain't talking, not Bernie talking about jobs. Okay. He's talking about kids going to school free. Okay. Uh, right. We're giving, uh, you know, all the social issues. And, it, and it's attracting but he's got those a lot, kids but he's that got are a lot, in school. But he's got a lot of but followers. But here's what happens. He's got a lot of followers now. But you know what happens? Once you get out of school and you begin to live the real life, you don't have a job. <laughs> You know, be it getting free education don't work if there's nothing to go to. Okay. Yes. Okay. So we want a president that we want a candidate that's going to talk to us about how you're going to develop jobs, not about kick them out the room. But now we, we, we agree. We agree. We got two of the four. We got two people that will deal with it. We got about another minute here right now. Yeah, okay. But the idea we do, we have agreed to that. Mm -hmm. The issue, the issue is the job and the social piece. And we got to get a candidate that can relate to both of those issues. 
I mean, that's that's really where we are. Well, and, and, we, and of the four, we picked two people right. that we figured that in some way, shape, or form, they, they got the they got those form to address those two issues. Mm -hmm. And I think that's that, that really is the race. And I oh, think yeah, I think I think that's where that where we are at this point in time. And okay? my my advice to the people are, if the, you're in the room with this with the guy or the lady that doesn't have anything to say about issues, yeah, there you go. Scratch him. There you go. There you go. Don't good. put the check by that name. Well, Bob, this has been just great. Hey, I love it. This is good. I, like it. I heard that. I heard that. We look like we're going to have a solution. I look like I'm going to have a, I think I may have a, a, a comparable, um, a, maybe a, a, an independent person that's going to be coming up here right now. He's he's kind of like the, I, I say he would be the local president. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the guy's going to be, I, I know this guy quite well. He's he's a very productive guy. He keeps things going here within the city of Portland. Oh. Yeah, he's very interesting. A moving the shaker. Huh? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> So, Bob, <laughs> thanks very much for being right. with us. Hey, we I appreciate enjoy. that. This has been good. This hey, has been I, real good. All so the time. Next week now, okay. you, got to, you got to carry the show next week. Is that oh, fair? Fair enough. I'll talk to you about that. Okay. Okay, buddy. All, All right. right. Okay. I look forward We're going to take a short break, and we'll be with our next guest. You are watching Oregon Voters Digest. This program can be seen again on these channels on these dates and times. Tell a friend. Welcome back to this segment of the Oregon Voters Digest. I'm Bruce Broussard, your host. I hope you enjoyed the first half. If you haven't, you know, you can pick us up on Tuesday and, and, and Friday in respective orders and 23, 23 and 22, respectively. 23 on Tuesday at 12 noon and 22 on Friday at 8 p.m., okay? Channel 11, 12, and 13, something like that. 22 and 23. Anyway... And then on YouTube, pick us up on YouTube also too. So okay, fine. So please stick around with us and tell your friends, tell your neighbors, because I tell you, it's a very important times right now, and we need to pay attention. And that's what I'm going to be basically doing here at the Oregon Voters Digest, Invo in inviting people that will talk to the issues. We it's a very very important, and that's exactly what I'm getting ready to do now. And we're going to bring it back locally here right now. As you note, what one of the things that I said uh, that uh, as far as I'm concerned, running for mayor. I made it very clear that uh, uh, we're going to make sure we get the neighborhood associations engaged. And that's been a problem that we've been having in this city. We got, we've got 11 neighborhood associations. We've got 11 of them. And in all due respect, we don't even know who our commissioners are. And a lot of times, uh, the only thing that the, uh, the, the association folks tend to identify is with the mayor. It's always the mayor. And you've got four, you got four people who've been elected. Or the but, city council. Uh, uh, that's city council, yeah. see? They got, we got four people who are city council folks, and all due respect, I want to give them a job. <laughs> I want to give them a job. And as far as I'm concerned, you divide the city into four different areas. You identify two two neighborhood associations for each area. I know we'd, we'd be adding one more, but the bottom line, you can divide one, that so to speak. But the idea is that then you assign city commissioners to each one of those aspects of it. Now... Now you really have engagement, because then and then you make sure the city auditor is there and assign the city auditor to that aspect of it. Because when they come up that's with that's a key point. You understand what I'm saying? Because yeah. when they come up with the issues, they got to come up with a solution, and the definition of solution is always money. Yeah. <laughs> right? Can they afford to do it? You understand? And then being then it all comes down to the mayor's office, and then he puts it all on the table. We have a big discussion because in many ways some of the issues that are in maybe one, maybe have some area in two, but it's not the priority aspect of it. But they put this piece together, and then all of a sudden you may come up with a list of ten. But you only have money for eight, and then you got to make the decide if you want to go through the whole ten. Somebody's got to pick up the tab. You either pick it up in the administration, or if not that, you go to the people. That's really the process, right? Is that fair? 
Yeah. Now here's Jeff. He's shaking his head, right? And uh, now that he's talking to the new mayor, which which <laughs> which commissioner do you want in your area? He's uh, he's in North Portland. Which one do you want in your area? Well, I just want to get a few uh, few things taken care of that we've been fighting. It turns out for yeah. over a decade, and okay. that's the bad air quality. Okay. So that's affecting all the North Portland. Tell me where you are, Jen. Tell me where you are. You you are president of the. I'm the chairperson of Hayden Island Neighborhood Network, uh, known as High New. And basically, we represent uh, almost 3,000 people who live on Hayden Island. Mm -hmm. But uh, we are one of 11 uh, neighborhood associations that are sponsored by ONI, the Office of Neighborhood Involvement. And uh, we've had all 11 uh, meet at one time. So what you mentioned earlier is true, uh, but I found that in this last two years of my tenureship that uh, there's a lot of common ground between all of the mm -hmm. North Portland neighbors uh, neighborhood associations and we're getting a lot of traction that mm -hmm. way so uh, that's a good thing however uh, you know just to this one pinpoint this one problem you know they, I, I was just discussing this with a couple of people who have really been affected by the toxic air mm -hmm. and they keep throwing out that you know there's VOCs in the air uh, those are carbon compounds the only thing that we have discovered and it's really through the media uh, Davis, I think, wrote the article in the Oregonian, is that there is a spike in the, uh, uh, what is it, the sulfide. Um, it's not a carbon compound. So it's actually, sulfide. We figure that recycle oil, it would be it would be in that sulfur. Well, anyhow, the thing is it's, it doesn't have a carbon compound to it, but it is still uh, very lethal mm -hmm. if you're in a concentrated uh, you know, uh, exposure to it. It's used in World War I. And basically, it's you know it's it's a deadly gas, mm -hmm. but there are other VOCs there. So the reason I bring it up is that uh, Mary Lou Putman and her husband Steve and a couple other people seem to it seems to drift right across. They live on the island, right? And they live near you. That's right. Fact. You know what I mean? That's right. But I'm it seems sure. to like almost go right in their door. Yep. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it, they're, they're right up front. The, the air just drifts over there, and they happen to be susceptible to it. So anyhow, the main thing is we are making progress. We've gotten a lot of uh, uh, media coverage. Uh, this latest article by the Oregonian was excellent. Uh, we were talking to Mr. Davis on the phone. We got off the phone with him and then we were talking to Nina DeConcini who is the DEQ uh, head person uh, from Seattle. And so she's been here actually met at their house several times mm -hmm. and I've been there as well. So the, the push is there. But you bring up the most important thing. When you were talking about how you're going to divide up commissioners right. and stuff yep. like that, the DEQ really doesn't have the money. Mm -hmm. But the governor did give them a 30-day you know, uh, push. Mm -hmm. You get something done. Well, mm -hmm. the 30 days is pretty close to being done. So on that note, on May 9th at the Red Lion uh, at 6 o'clock on Jansen Beach, uh, the DEQ is going to be there. They're going to reveal some of the things, these spikes that were uh, discovered months ago. And they're going to talk about canisters that are going to be deployed. Some of these canisters are actually activated by different people who live in the area. They will be on their deck or their property. So when they experience this, this uh, toxic air, they can go out there and, and hit the start button. Oh, okay. One of them is for 24 hours. The other one is actually for like five minutes. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you're going to get a long-term exposure. Exposure, or and you're going to get at the worst moment you're going to catch that air. Okay, okay. So that's a big improvement. We haven't seen them yet. Uh, we're supposed to hear more on Monday, but it's already May. So what about May precision cast part? They kind of like doing the same thing as a result of as a result right, of this. Those are heavy metals. And, but I'm just uh, still saying DQ's right. not involved. They, they're involved now. Yeah. Oh, in the yeah. entire city for that matter. But they're still not, they're still not well funded. I mean they've been defanged. Let's mm -hmm. face it. I mm -hmm. think the EPA is defanged. So uh, you know part of our push and uh, getting this uh, exposure. Uh, that's kind of a yeah, we're, yeah, yeah, no, we're getting good. exposed and hey, we want yeah. media exposure. Yeah. Channel eight's in there big time. But, but at any rate, we're we're making headway. But it's it's too slow. I mean, people who are susceptible, really mm -hmm. susceptible yeah. to these compounds that are in there, you know, they're suffering. Yeah. You know, and we got kind of sidetracked and, and put beneath bullseye glass. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, because that's, but you have to go over there and lick the moss to get those heavy metals. See, well, all we have to do is open our door and breathe door. it in. Right, right, and right. that's, and that actually has caught traction now with the DEQ. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, that's true. You, you're, you've been exposed to this. I learned from the management of the Jansen Mall before it was even rebuilt to the big box stores we have now mm -hmm. that they had actually evacuated s several times back in the uh, 2010 or something like that, 2008, 2009 same odor so this this has come and gone come and gone so this is a not a 
problem that uh, should have been lingering for all these these uh, these years. Well, tell me, tell me something. Uh, what about who issues those permits? Well, the permits. The lobby, the, that's, that's on the Washington. No, that's well, no, that's that's on our side. That's on, that's. On. No, no, they're both in Oregon. It's uh, Oregon Re Recycling uh, Company, which is called Orco, and uh, the one that we think is really uh, off gassing to us is Apes, which is American Petroleum Environmental Services. Kind of an oxymoron name, in our opinion, at this just point. Just one local company, just it, taking just oil right here. Well, he no, even gets paid outside. to bring the oil in. He, he in, just, he, he bringing just, the oil in. That's what we understand. It's it's contaminated oil from different sources. If you go over there as as frequently as we do, uh, he has probably six, seven. Uh, container car loads from on the freight trains, hmm. those kind of car loads. But if you are over there, you'll see truckloads of them coming. So he's reprocessing tons and tons of, of these this oil. Uh, the thing that we've learned, uh, and I you know I can't say this because I don't know it, but apparently he is supposed to be operating these burners that bring the heat up to treat right. this with a clean fuel, and it's it looks pretty much determine that he's using the dirty fuel to the same old fuel he's getting to burn now wow. now to find that out the deq and epa came together uh less than two weeks ago okay. which is unusual uh actually maybe it's three weeks now time is flying but they have sent orco and apes uh very specific questionnaires that they have to fill out take test samples of what's on the the site and you know basically what they're doing is committing them to uh, the details of their business, mm -hmm. what's really happening mm -hmm. over there. If they are invalidating themselves, I'll use that term. I got you. Okay? I got you. I got there, you. There is a severe financial penalty on a daily basis that can be applied. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is very serious. It should have been done years ago. Fine. Let's at least move ahead mm -hmm. and let's get it done. Now. But what about the people who are actually infected? What, what about them? Well, well they're, they're, they're I mean, just they're uh, having lung problems or medical problems. Is there any recourse for them? Well, so far, uh, what they're saying is that the exposure, even though we've had recent spikes and, you know, there's some detection uh uh, that uh, uh, equipment that trapped this in the last few months, I think it was November, December, January, when it was uh, trapped, I don't know. But there was an elevated, uh, you know, uh, encapsulation of this particular uh, off-gassing. So they say that that actually gets out of your system in a relatively oh, they short say period they, of time. They tell, EPA, they, DEQ. Oh, they EPA say says that. that. Right. Okay, they got proof of that. Well, no, they say if it's not a high concentration, <laughs> so your question is very valid. You know? yes, right, How do right, they know right. what the concentration right. exactly, is? Because exactly. exactly. the test that they caught it at was not on site. And yeah. this is the other thing. The Putmans are so right, you know, put it on the stack. Yeah. And, and that might happen here pretty soon. Mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're waiting to be told. So May 9th at 6 p.m. at, we'll have that at discussion. the Red Lion. Uh, everybody that is interested, please show up. We have a big room. Good. Uh, DEQ, EPA is going to be there. Uh, we'll start getting some answers, and uh, there's lots of questions. Is there a phone number they can call, maybe? If you, uh, well, you don't get your and get that. Well, they can call me, actually. Okay. 503-936-2425. Okay. Uh, okay. That's okay. my cell phone. You can text me, which I, I can handle quicker. Okay. So. And I'm sure the media is going to be. you can call the red line. line. You can call the red line. I don't I think have Channel 8. I think Channel 8, well, they, they yeah. were on there. They were on top. Yeah, they well, really we'll, there'll be media, media over there. There'll, there'll be sure. media for sure on that deal aspect of it. So the thing is that what happens after that? Okay, you, you've discovered this. They, they they basically bring in the equipment, if you will, to suppress this stuff. That's all you're doing is suppressing it. You know what I mean? I, and that's the way I normally look at it. Well, we're afraid that actually you, the word you just used is what we're afraid of. We, we yeah. think that they might yeah. be uh, withholding or, or operating uh, less off. You know, this weekend they're supposed to be testing. DEQ is supposed to be testing, but mm -hmm. they they put it on the media. So do you think that Apes is actually running at high speed over there? It's well, kind of like well, it telling the enemy where you're going to exactly. attack next. Exactly, right? exactly. Sorry, uh, Nina De Concini, but <laughs> we kind of thought that that was a little <laughs> yeah. tell us, but don't tell yeah, them. Gee, gee. Well, you know, like you said, and then you, you got a lot of folks over there. You, you what comes next? You know what I mean? You, you never know. Well, we want know. an answer, and we want it short term, and we want it in our, you know. We want something definitive. Um, I just got this uh, text from uh, Mary, and she's saying, that's why I'm screaming all the time. We still don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. it, it, it should be simple, but it's not. Uh, now, back to your question about the permits. They're actually, they don't really have a permit. They're operating they on an permit. extended permit. Uh, there's a term for it. Uh, but, you know, frankly, uh, I think it could be terminated uh, just from the powers that DEQ probably inherently has. But, you know, they don't want to put a business out of business. Well, 
But they issued the permit. Yeah. They're, they're operating on a temporary Who signed permit. off on this stuff? The governor? Or right. who, who signs off on this stuff? Well, whoever is the head of DEQ at the time. So well, the book stops there with, yeah. with the governor. EPA as well. So EPA, the fact okay. that the DEQ and the That's EPA the came standpoint. together, okay. the fact that they came together and, and sent out this uh, information request, this formal form that they had to, within 30 days, okay. fill out okay. in return, uh, that's very unusual. So that's good. You know, we have two two different departments working together. But, you know, like I said, uh, Kate Brown, get to her benefit, she really <laughs> said, you need to perform or we're going to decommission you. Mm -hmm. That was the DEQ. Mm. Uh, you know, interesting, that's pretty interesting. strong. Right. Well, we're fortunate that we had, uh, we had the residents oh, yeah, from that area that basically, I mean, they jumped on it. And they stayed with it. Well, and, and you know two I mean? of the two of her uh, siblings are attorneys. Attorneys, yeah, and so. that was that was that was awesome. You know what I'm saying? So they're the not that, environmental attorneys, mm -hmm. as they will you know tell mm -hmm. you, but they're mm -hmm. you know they're investigative type. Of right, people, right, so. right. Do you have anything else on your plate uh, as a as a neighborhood association uh, entity like the High Noon? Uh, what are what are some of the other I areas? Well, uh, you know, one of the things that we constantly get uh, people saying, and they've been saying it for decades, we need a bridge off of the island just right. for the islanders. Uh, but, you know, I went to meetings for the CRC for six years. I never saw a plan, uh, you know, and a couple of my neighbors, uh, Victor in particular, might disagree with me. But, you know, even though they fought to get something out of the CRC that was good for the island, it really, nothing was a good plan. And what uh, Victor and a couple of other people were trying to do was going to require another $80 million or $50 million. Well, mm -hmm. the budget was already set the federal government will only have a certain percentage of their investment in a project mm -hmm. so all of that work was really for naught because the, there was no 50 million dollars extra that was going to be put in there even if it was 30 million and and some of those thoughts were good so on that note uh, one of the things that uh, I want to promote and I've already we've already talked to Mayor Hales about this and we talked to uh, Tina Kotek which sort of planted the seed but if the light rail, <laughs> gotta get calls here on we go again. Jim, I just gave my phone yeah, number. That was pretty dumb. But if light rail was to proceed from Expo Center and drop on Lottery Row, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so I don't know who's familiar with Lottery Row, but uh, you know we want to be a neighborhood center again, which is what it was before. It was all these little mini uh, casinos, basically. But if that was to happen, that would be a seismic, a seismic bridge to today's standards. Mm -hmm. And it would have bicycle and uh, pedestrian on part of it. Mm -hmm. And then you got the light rail. Uh, it lands right on Lottery Row. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, that opens up a second lane, which is the current bike lane on the east side of the land bridge from mm -hmm. uh, Expo Center to the island. Mm -hmm. that, that actually is a car lane. Mm -hmm. And it's, locked, it's blocked off by mm -hmm. uh, concrete buffers. Mm -hmm. So you could have two uh, lanes coming out of the cloverleaf mm -hmm. heading north mm -hmm. onto the island. Mm -hmm. And the people in the right-hand lane, they just stay in that lane. Mm -hmm. They don't have to do all that merging. Mm -hmm. So that would help with the traffic. Mm -hmm. uh, it gives us a, a seismic bridge in case of a major uh, e event. Mm -hmm. uh, it has to be, obviously, you can bring in ambulances or you know, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, services like that. Yeah. But it gets rid of Lottery Row at the same time. Yeah. That would be mitigate them mm -hmm. out. I'm sure mm -hmm. that uh, the owner of the land over there can, can deal with that. But the other thing is, is that on the comprehensive plan for uh, 2035, which is, you know, they're kind of winding down and, and finalizing, uh, they wanted to, uh, and we accepted, a designation for the big box stores and where your business is, Norma's mm -hmm. Kitchen, the liquor store, over to the uh, the old yacht uh, club yacht that's club, been yeah. closed. That, that whole uh, business center would be called a neighborhood center mm -hmm. now what that does is put a limitation of 45 feet uh, instead of 70 or 90 mm -hmm. but it gives you commercial it gives you mixed use mm -hmm. so we could end up with a neighborhood center mm -hmm. we get we could end up with a lot of different new businesses mm -hmm. you could maybe get a, a better building out of it <laughs> we'll see probably have to pay more rent sorry <laughs> yeah but uh, the thing is is that it would it would really make that uh, it, it would change the climate of the yeah. island back to what it was before yeah. Lottery yeah. Row came yeah. in yeah. and yeah. give us so much more. Mm -hmm. And Neighborhood Center uh, gives us the power to ask the city for more services. Mm -hmm. And we don't, we still don't have medical. Mm -hmm. 
Which commission are you going to be talking to? <laughs> talk to all of them. The ones running and the ones in there. I heard yeah. that. I heard that. Well, you know, that, that's really the importance of the neighborhood association. Very, very important. But again, you need, you need more muscle, if you will. You know, someone you can deal with on a almost like almost a daily basis. Someone you know that you can pick up the phone and say, okay, here's the issue and uh, sign staff and whatever and get this thing done. Um, I can't remember for certain, but I think P19 was one of the amendments to the um, comprehensive plan. And that's what we testified on last week. But basically, that uh, gives us the, uh, it, it made a notation that the neighborhood associations need to be more interconnected. Yeah, yeah, uh, you know, yeah. it was basically Makes recognizing sense. them. Yeah. I've heard in the background of, over the last year that there are certain people on, in office who just, they don't want to hear from us. No. But High Noon actually is, is probably one of the most vocal, probably, uh, I don't want to say it's the best run because I'm there. But, but Jeff, you're doing we, a good we, job. We have really good people, yeah. and we're all volunteers, yeah. but we yeah. put a tremendous amount of hours in, and we've got some pretty big fights. Mm -hmm. So Anyway, but we're also looking for an entertainment person because yeah. uh, we, we'll do the fighting, yeah. but we need somebody to come up with an annual <laughs> event that's fun. <laughs> I hear that, buddy. <laughs> so well, we're looking for that. Well, you know, along that same line, you know, when you think about, well, the CRC, for instance, another week, you still got to deal with the whole issue of Vancouver. Yeah. You know, because they don't. Well, this, like this lets them out. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah. we don't have to address that yeah, at all. Yeah, and all. they're talking about two different bridges over there. Over you there. know, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of people are still trying to find parts of the CRC at the I-5 yeah. uh, area because that was the narrowness of the scope of the study, mm -hmm. which was intentional. Mm -hmm. It never even went to the railroad mm -hmm. bridge, which mm -hmm. it should have. Mm -hmm. So if you talk to David Medore and the commissioners over there right, that are right. are really locked into the yeah. uh, people, the public, uh, they want one that's either way east or way west. Mm -hmm. So that's a totally different okay, discussion. Okay. Okay. So. We, uh, we're going to get some meeting, man. We're going to get something done now, yeah. you think? You have an idea? So, something's going to be done? Uh, well, I don't know. We just planted the seeds. Yeah, so, I And I'm going around the island to different people, and I haven't had a negative response yet, which surprises me because there mm -hmm. are people who keep saying, you know, Tom, I know you're out there. Uh, mm -hmm. If you listen yeah, to this, yeah, you always yeah. want to have a, a car bridge, but there, I, it only drops you onto places that are already gridlocked. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do? You're going to get on Marine mm -hmm. Drive and have mm -hmm. one or two cars? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it, it doesn't work. Well, I was still. You know, you've lived there longer than me. Oh, well, yeah. like I said, no plan. I, I didn't know who my commissioner was. Now I understand. <laughs> Since I met you, you know, you you're a hard working volunteer aspect of it, and you need a commissioner. We need we need someone, and it's a very important. Piece. So in fact, now uh, we, we we've got well, the fifteen. One, the one we have, we never see. No, I know, I know. I won't mention the name. But. What are you talking about, Loretta? Oh, I. No, yeah, I said That's I'm not going to mention a name. That was the county. That's county. So you know, I was talking about the city, but since you talked about the no, county. I'm not going to mention anybody. The county. I, I want to work with anybody that will help us. Well, that's just all there is to it. Well, that's, you, you, that's our job. Well, you're the, the employer. Yeah, no. We're, uh, you, we're just you, looking for help. You understand yeah. that, don't you? The employer, we, we know about that. People. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I don't want to get into your previous discussion. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, he and, well, would, he and I wouldn't be on the same page. Right, right, no problem, no problem. But the <laughs> you bottom and I line, might be. well, yeah, right, you know, but but that's where we are now. You know, we, right. we we've got to get to the table and we have got to have these discussions. In fact, I'm going to even uh, I'm going to even suggest that all the mayoral candidates and folks who are running for office from the city and even the county, for that matter, should maybe attend the meeting. Uh, at the I, red hope, line. I hope, I hope uh, they do. You, you it's some, an important meeting. It's a very, very it's, important it's meeting. It's citywide. It's probably statewide. Yeah. Yes. You know, right. it's coming out now that the uh, guidelines for these smaller businesses are very lax mm -hmm. for, you know, res there's hardly any mm -hmm. restrictions on. Th there's many other companies out there that we're learning that have an industrial license that we don't know what metals mm -hmm. they're using mm -hmm. or what, what they're doing. I, I think the... It's an election year. You know, this mm -hmm. is a perfect time to, yeah. to hit it. Yeah, best time to do it. And please, guys, everybody running for mayor, you got, we got 16 people running. Even Charlie's still there, see? He's, he's an incumbent. Somebody else said that. He's, yeah, Charlie's still there. He's an incumbent. You got Sarah, see? He's got Sarah. He's, he's backing he's from, he's back Sarah. He's backing Sarah, yeah. see? So he's got all of these folks sitting up there. But guess what? You can get the you You've got the it lead sewed right up. There. I don't know why you're even worried about it. Well, I'm mayor now. See what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've got my, my term will be maybe, I don't know. It, it's funny you say that in your business is called Norma's Kitchen, but that's okay. <laughs> well, I do, I, do as I, I do as I'm told that. You know that, Jeff. You, you've been there many times, okay? <laughs> but, but anyway, uh, it shows you the importance, though, really, of, of the associations and, and, the, and the fact that we need to be engaged, if you will, with our representative. Because, oh, yeah. oh, because totally. it got, and they need to be there on a daily basis because at the end of the day, when we come up with, i.e., we come up with the rendering, you're talking about the rendering right now. Right. Now when you get into the plan aspect, you're talking about dollars, you're talking about dotting the I's, crossing the T's, the feds, all kinds of folks. Uh, you know, so so it's very important that... Well, uh, well you got short-term and you've got long-term. I mean, here's the comprehensive plan, which right. is 
uh, you know, for 2035. Right. Uh, they've been working on it for probably almost two right. years now. Right. Right. Uh, it's a, it's a it's a load. It's oh. hard on them. I mean, we com- we commend them for even listening to the 170. I was the 70th. Right. Uh, to testify just the other yeah. day, but we have the short-term uh, problems that we're always that we're oh, always facing. It's cold. Yeah. See, that's why I'm saying if, if we had city commissioners assigned to these areas, all of a sudden be, the CRC would have been built by now. See, you got my point? Because uh-huh. they were out. You yeah. know what I'm saying. I mean, you, you had all these different folks and whatever. We're spending all this money, and I, and I'm thinking about uh, Southeast Portland. You know, then Foster Road. They had a whole oh. big problem. Vera Katz had already put this plan together way back when when she was there at about a million bucks. That could have been done aspect of it, but guess what? No association, no no dealing with the, the neighborhood association in that area. Now these people over there by themselves too. They're, they're in the same situation that, that we're talking about right now. And hopefully we can we can dispense with, as you say, this is not a personal issue aspect. Well, bringing, this is the, a bringing issue. the public and bringing neighborhoods into it is Very vital important. because they know what the neighborhood needs and what it can handle. Uh, Division Street is a perfect example. I think the government actually has the cart before the horse and many issues. If you go down to the Alphabet District, and, you know, we have the homeless problem, obviously, and I'm not going to yeah, get into yeah, that. Yeah. But, you know, parking and everything. They're, they're now they're worried about the fact that they have all these apartments going up without parking. But go down there and look at all the townhouses that they have butted up against each other. Yeah. That eliminated probably a 1,000 or more parking on the street. Yeah. So it, it, it's sort of like you could see this coming, but they didn't. Yeah. The government didn't see it coming because mm-hmm. they weren't looking at it. So that's well, my not, opinion. They're on the background. And they didn't spend the time as a volunteer. In neighbors, the neighborhood neighbors know what's going on. You understand what I'm saying? I agree. So now we're trying to get them involved. Okay, we got to have you back here again. Tell tell the rest of the folks. And, well, after May 9th, uh, I'll come back for sure. For sure, you will. Yeah, okay, yeah, good, absolutely. good, good. Well, I want to thank you very much for being here oh, with us. Appreciate welcome. that very much. And folks, hey, make sure you you get out, you vote, you got your ballots now in your hand, and and uh, read up on these folks that are running for office because that's exactly what we're talking about, especially for the city of Portland. We need that leadership, and, and i.e., we need the engagement with the neighborhood associations or with, within the city of Portland, okay? With that, I want to thank you again, and, and hey, please join us next time around. We need to see you again, and uh, we'll probably have another well, Mother's Day next week. So I think Big Bob's going to have a, he's going to talk about Mother's Day. And so I will say Happy Mother's Day. He's going to carry the show that day. But Happy Mother's Day to everybody. And uh, I will be seeing you maybe we after next. Okay? Thanks, Bruce. Okay, but thank you very much. Yeah, Appreciate welcome. it very much. Okay.